Hey guys, welcome back to part. I think it is it seventeen. It could be eighteen. I think it could be part eighteen actually of Sherlock Holmes. And me being a complete blind person, somehow I I actually now know what they what they're supposed to do because I somehow missed this little bit on the table. Even though I'm sure I walked up to it a number of times, but somehow I missed it. So here it is. So let's see what we've got to do here, because this could be, maybe this is the, the diversion. There's R1. Oh, a mirror. Oh, is he cheating? Conceal button, extra card. Oh, okay. He uses a mirror to look at the cards during the deal. A button for a mechanism. And what's this one do? He uses the extra cards to cheat. Extra cards to cheat. Oh, he is cheating. Oh, hello. This is a holdout that deals extra cards. So he's got something that deals extra cards. Rope leads from one sleeve to the other. If the rope's cut, it will release the hidden cards and expose his trick. That's what I'll need to do for a diversion. Ah, oh, here we go. All in. Okay, so we press L1. Oh, uh, what's this? Divert attention, take knife. Guard over there. You loser. Cut rope. Oh, I see. So we've got to decide which order it goes in. What about the guard? The guards are broke. Oh, guards me. Okay, so here be lot. Okay, so we've got to cut the rope. Okay, so if you divert attention, then we go around. Yeah, then take the knife. Because then we need the knife to cut the rope. And I guess his cards will, I guess his cards will come out, or fly out, or fall out, or something. And then the fight will start. And that will surely lead the guard away. Perfect. Okay, so what, let's watch the sequence. Do I take knife? Cut the rope. Fight. God. as well. Oh, we've got bats. Okay, so. Oh, dear, this is a chicken. I like how you can hear the, the uh, fight, the noise from the fight. And we've got behind, they're creative. That was quite a brutal fight, if I'm being honest. Right, we've made it over. That way doesn't open the door because we can walk towards that. Is that it? That is it. Okay. Uh, ah, door. No. Nope. Stairs. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is a neat place. Uh, is it back up? It is back up. Those must be the windows of the garden walls. Oh, so we do have to go down there. Damn it. Oh, so I just assumed it was this building here. But it's not, it's, it's here. Okay, so what do we squeeze it, of course? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how we're going to jump onto that because it looks a bit 
painful, but let's uh, see what happens. See if this works. How do you, I can't remember how to run. Oh, here we go. I'll take it. When the trains go momentum, reach the destination point. Wait, actually, how are we swinging on a hook? There you go, this could be the one. Oh, I missed it. I didn't expect it to be square, I thought it would just be X. I just lost all momentum by jumping. Surely it would have swung anyway, could it not? Oh, she's actually on the hook, she's on the right, that's it. Okay, next one, and we're over. There we go. And we're in. Let's see what they're up to in this room. By the time the amount of time takes to go over, they're probably finished. Okay, straight for the table, it looks of it. They only left this room recently. It's a hidden compartment. Oi, oi. Clever invention for hiding gambling items in the event of a police raid. Um. So that's how much they spent, I guess. One thousand one hundred eighteen pounds and fifteen. I think that's shirt isn't it? The hammer. Jack Cole, I remember him from the raid three years ago. There's a key. Doesn't look like a key from the ordinary door. I know. Oh, we've got a deduction as well. Let's see what this is about. Tavern owner and tavern. Is it? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, so it's gonna be Jake Cole. The man with the hair clip came to the tavern to meet Jake Cole, Jack Cole, the following night after the attempt on Holmes' life. Okay. Okay. We're slowly getting somewhere. Slowly getting somewhere. Oh, there's something. Oh. Uh, oh, cracked. A crack. There might be something behind the cupboard. It's a scratch as well. Ah, hello. Press the key. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go down. Another secret place. Damn, I'm late. Left. It's evident that all of these items were stolen by Jack Cole's gang. Okay, I'm not sure what that means in a minute. It's the suitcase belonging to that fellow with the hair. Oh yeah, stolen a load of stuff. No doubt these things were stolen. Oh. Photograph. Our man. Most likely with his family. I'm back. After moving into our new home. After moving into our new home. Alright. There's another left as well. Butler's pawn shop. Five Lambeth Street. This fellow pawned his belongings. He must be in great need of money. Butler's pawn shop on Lambeth Street. He apparently lives near this pawn shop. That could be our next visit. What's going on in there? Let's have a look. Come in. There we go. Oh, he came out. Oh, no, it's him. Awesome. Quick. Okay, so we need to go in there and save him. But let's uh, just see this. Unexpected visit. Unexpected. Here we go. 
Orson helped Holmes with the song in order that he visit the Green Dragon Tavern and be caught there. Orson did everything that he could to help Holmes, even assuming the role of detective. Why did he come along? Oh my god, did he is he is he after Holmes? Alright, oh no, let's let's go with help for the time being. And our mind may change. May change it. But, oh my god, this health go down, let's run, let's go. Come on! We made it. How are we gonna save him? We gotta fight them all? Holmes! You sneaky bastard, I'll kill you! Okay, I think we did that wrong. Holmes, you sneaky bastard, I'll kill you. So we need to No, nope. must be the other thing with the chair. The other thing with the chair then, whatever we didn't do last time. Holmes, you sneaky bastard, I'll kill you. That's a lucky, eh? There we go. Push his eye. The take hat. I'm sure you can take the hat. Man! There's like a sequence of about five, six things that we need to do. Holmes, <laughs> you sneaky bastard, I'll kill you! Okay, we know we know the next few, it's just when we get to that table. The uh, not the table, the uh, the tray. Right, so let's overturn this. Then we need to grab the bottle. We need to push him aside. And take the tray. No? Holmes, Is the tray not what we need to take? I'll kill you! Okay, I, did, I just put X. I did nothing. I, I just. Oh man, that was me. That was all me. That was. Holmes, you sneaky bastard! I'll kill you. I just don't know what we've got to do when he gets the tray. That's. I, mean, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Can we throw it? Can we? Uh, have a turn. Get a bottle. Push him aside. We pick the tray up and we die. I don't get it. I'm stuck again. I'm stuck again. I'm stuck Holmes, again. You sneaky bastard, I'll kill you. Here we go once more. Over turn. Grab the bottom. Push aside. I, I just don't know what to do there because he shoots us every single time. That's the only thing we can press. Holmes, you sneaky bastard, I'll kill you! Let's 
like, that's the only thing we, like, it's the only thing we can pick up, I don't get it. Like, there's no point picking up, because we just die anyway. He just shoots us every single time, straight in the face. Holmes, he shoots us. Bastard, I'll kill you! Seems like we have to overturn that, because it trips him up. Slow anyway. What's this? Tenth time? Probably tenth. Maybe eleventh. Maybe twelfth. Holmes, you sneaky bastard! I'll kill you. We had to take his hat. We had to push his hat off, and that distracted him. <laughs> well, you, well, I never. Well, I never. I did not expect that. I did not expect. I told you what? Eleven times, ten times. <laughs> I did not know. I was going. Why do we need to take his hat for? What do we need to take his hat for? That's why we need to take his hat. And then we push him aside. Simple, 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 simple. Okay, so I guess we're heading home. If we ever get there. It's a long journey, you know, to the Green Tavern. It's a long journey. I mean, I'm not sure. I guess he's going to have a word with, uh, with him. When we get back to the uh, apartment. That's for sure. You are Alice, yeah? Listen, Holmes suspects something. What are you talking about? You must be more discreet. Your little game with his daughter. No, no, no! Too soft, Holmes! But you are Mr. Holmes. Why on earth? You see, she recognized you. I expected it. You must live the character. You see, now you go upstairs right away or I will drive you back to that pub. Understood? And there you are. You've got it. I... Uh, <laughs> all right. But seriously, you should take acting classes. I know that you came here to avenge your father. You moved into my building, you've spied on me, and now you prepare your revenge through my own daughter. Don't be such a fool. I adore your daughter. You see conspiracies in everything. I have good reason to. Perhaps you forget what I do for a living. How I pity you. You mistake sincerity for dishonesty. Do you dare tell me that your presence here is accidental? Obviously not. When the opportunity arose for me to meet you, then I came, but not with hatred, rather more with fascination. I had hoped to learn something about my father from you. Some answers as to my identity. When, strangely enough, I find that you yourself are a riddle. Even to your own daughter. You shouldn't have involved my daughter in your sick problems. You're only confusing her. It's over. She doesn't know it yet, but I'll be leaving soon. I've finished my business here, and you will never hear from me again. Good. But you better speak to me directly. No being furtive. I had no idea that you could show such a high level of indulgence towards the children of criminals. You... I'm going. Please, I beg you, do not spoil my last moments with Caitlin. Okay. That is interesting. Okay, so we've got to find the house with the... Uh, oh, we've got lots of stuff here. So 
we can go to Lambeth Street, and we've also got to find the house for the man in the haircut. Let's go do that. And then, after we have done that, I think that could be it for this episode, guys. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Right, do we need to do this first? Ah, oh, please raise. Uh, 1892. Please train 1890. Oh, 1890. I'm on 80. Oh, I've done it again. I was that was I was in 1882. Ten years too early. Ten years too early. Uh, where is it? Please raid the Westminster gang. Yeah, here we go. Here it is. Well, no private detectives should have homes and she's got your There's carried out raiding one of London's most dangerous and affluent street mobs. The Westminster Gang. Five to operate. And one innocent person was gravely injured. The man's identity is as Hagen Cole. Apparently being the brother of the villain Jack Cole. Jake, Jack Cole is likely released due to lack of solid evidence. Okay. Okay, so we've got the Scotland Yard to go to as well. Oh, that's his name, is it? Jack Cole. Ask Lestrade to apprehend Jack Cole. Okay, so that's what we're going to Scotland Yard for. We've also got to go to Lambeth Street. Okay. Well, with that being said, guys, that is the plan then for the next video. I don't know what we're going to do first. We'll decide, uh, decide then. But, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Get involved as much as you want. Comment whatever you like. Ask whatever you like. Say whatever you like. Just uh, yeah, just get involved with the channel, and I'll be sure to answer you as soon as I can, whenever I'm free, whenever I see it. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.